Hey everyone, today we will talk about microcephaly. It's a rare neurological condition characterized by an abnormally small head size in infants and children. This condition can occur due to a variety of causes and may be present at birth or developed during infancy. Let's talk about the causes of microcephaly. First of all, we will talk about genetic factors. Some cases of microcephaly are caused by genetic mutations that affect brain development. These genetic mutations can be inherited from parents or it can occur spontaneously. Infections during pregnancy can also lead to microcephaly. Infections like Zika virus, Cytomegalovirus, and Rubella can cause microcephaly if a pregnant woman becomes infected and the virus is transmitted to the developing fetus. Exposure to toxins like certain environmental toxins such as alcohol, drugs, or certain chemicals during pregnancy can lead to microcephaly in the unborn child. Malnutrition is especially a deficiency in folic acid. You can see signs you can find it on top right corner. Can increase the risk of microcephaly. Radiation exposure, exposure to ionizing radiation during pregnancy can also contribute to the development of microcephaly. Now that we have talked about the causes, let's talk about symptoms. The primary symptom is abnormally small head size. You are seeing typical head size baby with microcephaly and the comparison with typical head size. And this is severe microcephaly on the right. Also, you can see developmental delays in motor skills and speech, intellectual disabilities, seizures, facial abnormalities, poor coordination and balance, hyperactivity and irritability, vision and hearing problems, feeding difficulties, challenges with everyday activities and self-care. The treatment largely focuses on managing the associated symptoms and providing support to the affected individual and their family. Some aspects of the treatment include early intervention programs that include physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy to address developmental delays and improve their quality of life. Medications may be prescribed to manage specific symptoms such as seizures or hyperactivity. They may require special education services to help them reach their full potential despite their developmental challenges. In some cases, Assistive devices such as hearing aids or mobility aids may be necessary to improve the individual's functioning. It's important to note that the prognosis for individuals with microcephaly can vary widely depending on the underlying cause and the severity of the condition. Early diagnosis and intervention can significantly improve the outcomes and quality of life for affected individuals. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join our channel membership. Don't forget to watch our folate deficiency signs video. Don't forget to watch our other syndromes and diseases related videos on our playlist. See you later.